General Motors has experimented with hydrogen fuel cells for decades but doesn't yet use them in vehicles it sells. That may change as the largest U.S. automaker prepares to test medium-duty pickups fueled by carbon-free green hydrogen, deploying them as work trucks for a power company. GM's HYDROTEC unit said pickups based on its 2024 Chevrolet Silverado 5500 model equipped with its fuel cell system will be used for commercial applications later this year by Atlanta-based Southern Company, one of the country's largest utilities. They'll be designed to get over 300 miles per fueling and also serve as a remote electric power system. They'll refuel at a station developed with the utility company and Nell, a Norwegian maker of electrolyzers, where hydrogen will be generated from a dedicated renewable power system. The test program is being partially paid for by a $26 million Energy Department grant GM received in 2021. The company didn't say how many of the fuel cell trucks, which weigh 19,500 pounds, similar to diesel version it sells, will be built for the program or whether it intends to eventually commercialize them. The high-powered fuel cell system in the trucks, can produce more than 300 kilowatts of peak power, and serve as a mobile generator to, power job sites or bring charging to EVs in areas where traditional charging is not available, Jacob Lozier, Hydrotech's program manager, told reporters. It has enough power and energy to provide power for up to 250 American homes, for a day. GM began working on hydrogen fuel cells in the 1960s and in the early 2000s even though it might eventually be able to sell millions of passenger vehicles powered by the elemental fuel. Technical challenges and cost issues have mainly sidelined fuel cells for smaller vehicles, but the technology looks promising for commercial trucks and vans. Nikola began selling hydrogen semis to customers in California last year, and truck manufacturers including Daimler, Volvo and Hyundai are preparing to follow. Fuel cells, electrochemical devices that turn electrons from hydrogen into electricity, can provide range and power that typically exceed battery systems, operate efficiently in hot or cold weather and can be refueled in a fraction of the time it takes to recharge an EV. But hydrogen is difficult and costly to transport and store, challenges that have slowed its use beyond industrial applications. There are fewer than 60 refueling stations in the U.S., nearly all in California, and they charge up to $36 per kilogram to dispense the fuel. The Golden State has over 18,000 hydrogen passenger vehicles, mainly Toyota Mirai sedans and Hyundai Nexo crossovers. Honda, which partners with GM on fuel cell tech, plans to offer a hydrogen CRV crossover that also operates as a plug-in electric vehicle in California this year.